Very good evening, everybody. Welcome along to the Lee Valley Hockey Centre in the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in the East End of London as day four of this stop on the FIH Pro League comes to a conclusion. And it is the hosts in their penultimate FIH Pro League match of the season, Great Britain, who take on Germany. It is Great Britain in the all-red strip that get this one underway, attacking the goal away to our left-hand side, Germany in the all-white. Every interview I hear it come up, and uh, they started to bring a little bit more energy in the last couple of games. Now drive down the right-hand side, Davis Mark across the face, a goal! And there's an opener, and I think it's Sigrinitsky who's taking the uh, congratulations. Well, there's a dreadful start for Great Britain. They've conceded inside, what, 49 seconds. So much space as well. Singer and Husser. Husser on the right-hand castle. And it goes to the left. Singer goes high and wide. And here is Fleschitz. And again, oh, Germany coming forward. They've only got three players off. Straight through the middle. Fleschitz still going. Fleschitz. And it's through the keeper. And it's more dreadful defending from Great Britain. They just, Germany has carried the ball straight down the middle of the pitch. And yet a Fleschitz scores the goal off the pads of Pritchard. And the bad start gets even worse for Great Britain. Great Britain nil, Germany two. And like you say, Helen, so much space for Germany. Now Rea showing her pace. She's got Watson to her left hand side, but Rea's going to take this all herself. Scores! Ellie Rea runs half the length of the pitch to finish on the reverse stick. And pace is telling for Great Britain on that occasion. She left Kurtz in her wake, and Rea kept her cool, took it a little wider, and then finished with a plop. Oh, over the top from Hamilton. Yeah, and from a neutral perspective, it is important for the game that the trailing side. Oh, there's a chance now for Robertson. Straight to the keeper, falls to board, off the back foot. Great defending from Aruz. Yeah. That was a real chance for Great Britain. Oh. And it's the left hand castle. And then up the keeper. Husa with the goal. Pritchard gets a leg guard to it, but can only deflect it up into the net. And it's Great Britain one, Germany three. It seems to take an age for the shot to get away. Very long drag. Oh, it takes a deflection, doesn't it, off the number one runner? I don't know if it just goes over it or whether it actually gets a deflection. Understanding the players that you're playing with. Kill, good save, but it's dangerous. Oh, Fleschertz wins possession. Fleschertz drops it to McKeel. Oh, and Crackles, who gave the ball away, does really well to atone for her error. Dangerous. Just didn't look like she felt confident in what she was doing. The shot comes in. It's Rea. Good save from Rota. We'll look to go to the air, probably. It is Ansley, but it's so slow. But Ansley will get another chance. Shot comes in, there's a deflection. Oh, no, is that over the net? Dangerous. We're going to go now. And it comes again to Ansley. Hits the goalkeeper back onto the foot of Ansley and a free hit. And it comes, Ansley on the left-hand castle this time, goes low, Rota makes the save and cleared by uh, Horn. And Malsa is all alone, three on one here. McKeel back inside, this is Granitsky, this is Heinz, and they've fluffed their lines. David Smyer into the circle, Heinz. Still going, Heinz. Yeah. It's in. Um, Pauline Heinz, I think, will take the uh, credit for that one. Uh, 
second in two games against Great Britain. And that is the risk you take when you pull your keeper. Germany exploiting the right-hand side. but it means or counts for nothing because that is the final hooter. Uh, Valentin Altenberg's side takes six points for a possible six here in London. 